What's up, all my fellow speedsters and all many humans throughout the multiverse? It's Kim here. Welcome back to another reaction of the channel. So yes, uh, I still haven't gotten the uh, light, the uh, replacement bulb for my lamp. So the lighting is gonna be a, a lot dimmer um, than it usually is. So I do apologize for that. I couldn't find the uh, replacement bulb today. So hopefully I will have it by. Uh, hopefully by Friday for um, the newer smaller reactions and yeah so I do apologize for that um yes uh, on Monday I didn't have enough time and yesterday I didn't have enough time either and today I finally went out and weren't able to get it so I do apologize for that uh, but hopefully the lighting um, doesn't look too bad and you can at least see my face a uh, I just like to have a little bit more light on me, me because um, I don't know. It just looks a lot nicer. Because for example, um, even when I'm seeing this on OBS, there's like a uh, like some blue highlights uh, around my uh, around my hair, and even um, uh, some highlights like even um, in other parts, not just my hairline. And I don't know why I'm having this Superman curl thing. But, um, yeah, so we will be watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7, Episode uh, 8. So, last episode, um, damn. Oh, yeah, last episode was the um, 80s spoof episode with... Um, the with Mac and Deke and it was an ama it was a great episode. I, I really loved it. It was hilarious, especially with Deke, like he always is. I loved all the 80s references. Um, and I was also told about the uh, 80s reference with Coulson. Um, don't remember what it was because I don't think I've seen um, where that is from, the uh, VHS thing. But um, someone can tell me in the comments um, uh, later, I guess. Um, but I really did... Um, like how they brought in uh, Malik. Um, I guess Malik shouldn't be too much older because I think they were. What was it? Were they in nineteen seventy three or nineteen seventy five? I can't remember uh, what it was. Um, so Malik shouldn't be. Uh, Nathaniel Malik shouldn't be too much older. So now I'm wondering what time period they're going to be in, or they're going to still be in the eighties. Uh, but a lot of stuff uh, happened. We got to see um, kind of Deke. Uh, put together a band, but also kind of put together, um, I guess, the starting points of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the 80s, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and uh, it was a great development episode for Mac, which I really did enjoy, his arc throughout the, throughout the thing. And I, I just really loved um, the, um, a lot of the 80s uh, horror references, like, uh, you know, the hallway, the hallway scene, and just like the overabundance of gore which is uh, a reference to a lot of the 80s horror movies which i thought was kind of cool and uh, i just really like um the uh robot designs they had um for the chronicoms i thought that was kind of cool and i'm very curious to see uh what that um item they got because at first i thought it was um sybil's hard drive but uh Oh, hang on, I forgot to turn off my air conditioner. Alright. Um, I thought it was Sybil's hard drive, but she's um, she's already in the uh, the um, CRTV, so I'm assuming it's possibly a hard drive for another Chronicom, or maybe it might be, like, the hard drive from the Chronicom ship. I don't, I don't think it was ever said what... Um, that thing was, if it was, I, I forgot, I apologize. Um, and we finally got a reunion between Yo-Yo and Mac and Deke, and them meeting Remnants of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the end, and it looks like Daisy is still, um, still in her kinda coma after what happened uh, a couple episodes beforehand. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see, um, <clears throat> her wake up in this episode, and maybe see the repercussions of that. Maybe she'll have PTSD. And I'm very curious to see if she still has her powers. Because um, I remember Whitehall took a lot of the uh, insides of uh, Jiang. And all he did was make himself look younger. And that was just one time. I don't think he actually got her abilities. Because Jiang still was able to use her um, her abilities um, later down the line. So I'm wondering if it's going to be something similar. 
um, um, to Daisy, maybe um, what Nathaniel had was temporary. Um, if it's not, I'm very curious to see um, if maybe Daisy's powers are weakened somehow. I'm very curious to s see how they're going to explain that, if they're going to explain it in this episode or possibly next episode. But um, yeah, overall I've been really enjoying this um, fun little ride of uh, Ace to Shield this season. As it's a lot, it's a more of a fun season, you know, one last ride, and um, I'm really enjoying it. But anyway, without wasting any more time, this is Ace of the Shield Season 7. I already forgot what episode um, number it was, episode 8. Let's get right into the reaction. Oh, it's showing a different perspective. Okay, I thought I was playing the wrong episode for a second. We're there for him. We'll be back in a few minutes. Nope, no you won't. Alright, I like this. It's showing their perspective. Okay. How much time? How much? Another year, right? Yeah, because I remember she said it was uh, 20 days. So what's wrong? Ooh, okay. Another new tile car. I like this one. Well, relatively speaking, 20 minutes. Okay. Will it come again now? Think of it like I wish I did, but I just don't know enough about inhuman biology to... My mom does. Oh, okay, she's awake. Okay, so she's rested. awake at this I'm episode. Okay. It's for you. So let's talk this through before we pull the trigger. Oh, is she gonna meet Jiang again? Thanks. I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, this is gonna be cool seeing Jiang again. We haven't well seen her since season two. Because you know she did she's dead. Man, this is gonna be really really interesting. I picked up on you and Max uh, <clears throat> reunion from outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> Me, that's horrible. The last time Jiang Ying saw Quinn Jet, she started a war. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's 1983, right? Is wouldn't she recognize May though? Because wasn't she there during Ba Ring? I remember in a flashback. So has Ba Ring it happened yet? Can't outrun Gordon. Oh, are we gonna see Gordon again? Take her home. Oh, it's young time? Gordon. Okay. Humans die if they touch it, but in here. There you go. They can't be allowed to leave. Oh man. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Oh man, acupuncture. Okay. Okay, so you can manifest weapons. That's cool. Your friend made any bother you? I spent time with the tribe of Neanderthal. <laughs> does not resemble one he lacks. Oh man, I love Can we Enoch. Just push the button, please. Not looking so good. Honey, we have more. Time. Your problem isn't physical. It's in your mind. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so it's that's, it? that's your theory. It's real. It's, the fact that it's, it's kinda like um back in season weird. one where uh you should go. You should I think go. Blackout yeah, was his name that took away Barry's powers. And when he tried to get him Can back, he still couldn't use it because it was in his head. That's what it reminds me of. Take it. Got a point. <laughs> this is literally my word. <sighs> I can see my presence is making you self-conscious. Oh, okay. Oh, it's P. Oh, yeah, it is PTSD. Ooh. Oh, Tess. Oh, Ruby too. Oh, does she feel guilty about Ruby too? I don't know. Oh, Pat. Oh, okay. We haven't seen this. I think we're finally getting. You ever jumped out of an airplane before? Yes. Though I only had a 1950s. 
Oh, can you like walk perfectly now with that? I guess we're all in the same boat now. Man, I'm really loving uh, Sousa's dynamic with the team. They're really growing together, and I really love it. Uh oh. Another jump. Oh! Oh, man, it's the necklace. Oh, no. It's too late. There's only ever been one solution to this problem. Oh, no. Are they going to try and kill Yo Yo? Is that Gordon? Oh, never mind. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, Daisy. Oh, never mind. No. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so he still has Who Daisy's powers. My friends and I are about to go make some chaos. Oh, no. I, I don't really like where this is going. Play. Oh, man. Is he gonna turn into like oh, a bomb or something? Your powers? I try. Still nothing. Take this. It's gonna have to happen eventually. And we're running out of time. Together again. Time, space. It's never stopped us before. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I'm wondering when we'll see Fitz, because I know the actor, I believe, was filming a movie um, during the production of this season. So I'm hoping we won't just see him in the final episode. I hope he he shows up at least a few episodes beforehand. Well, you've been no help. Oh! Cora, get away from him! Sorry, she's beyond help. Lee, no, stop! Oh! Uh, oh, man! You are mere moments away from catastrophic failure. Thanks, Enoch. Well, that's very comforting. Thank you. <laughs> Parachutes are ready to go. Brand new ship. All right. It's two days. They have it, though. Only had 20 minutes. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh no, Mac was left behind. What are you doing? It worked! Oh no, don't tell me she's gonna sacrifice herself. No, no, don't tell me. Okay, good. For a second, I thought that she was gonna die for a second. I'm like, oh Stop shit. <laughs> Alright, yo yo. Okay. Okay, so we got some development with uh, Daisy's character. I mean, not Daisy yo yo's character, so she doesn't need to bounce back anymore. Okay, that's gonna be more beneficial now. Any chance? I can keep tempo. Okay, well, there you go, Deke. Wait, what's happening? What? Oh, that's not good. You're, you're just gonna leave off on that? Oh, I'm not liking this. Alright guys, so that was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7, Episode... Man, I keep forgetting the episode name. Uh, episode 8. Uh, that was a pretty, uh, pretty good episode, especially a more uh, yo-yo-centric episode. Uh, really developed our character, especially with the uh, flashback sequence, uh, which makes you feel even more for yo-yo's character, and I really do like her growth. And I am glad that it's, that it's about damn time, because yo-yo hasn't really had a whole lot of growth as a character uh actually no i take i take that back uh she did get some growth in season six 
Oh, wait, no, in season, no, season five, she got a lot of growth. In season six, uh, she didn't really get a whole lot of growth. I mean, she was with, uh, oh, I already forgot her uh, boyfriend's name. Uh, I, I already forgot uh, his name. Uh, and the stuff with the Shrike, but other than that, she didn't really have a whole lot of development as a character. Uh, season 5 um, really did develop her character because she was one, one of them that did survive until the end um, in the future. Um, so, there was that. Uh, I also did like uh, the way they brought back Jiang in Afterlife, and hopefully that's not the last we see of them. Um, and I'm very curious to see how this will quote-unquote change the timeline, if the timeline will change, because, you know, uh, Endgame has different time travel rules. Maybe they're going to just completely use completely different time travel rules. At, le at least that's what it seems like. Maybe with all this time travel stuff, it will, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will be in its own separate universe or something. I'm not too sure. Um, because there's a lot of speculation that after all the time travel stuff, it Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was put into a timeline where the snap never happened. That's a theory, but anyway, I don't, I don't want to get into that. Maybe that's where they're going with. I'm not too sure. Um, so it looks like um, the Chronicoms are kind of taking a backseat at this point, just because I think most of the Chronicoms are destroyed, except for Sybil. Um, I guess uh, Nathaniel is going to be um, the villain, so that's uh, very interesting. Um, I actually kind of like um, Nathaniel as a villain. He's, I don't know, something about the way he talks, he has like uh, some pretty good charisma as a villain. I, I don't think he's a compelling villain, I think he's like another generic evil villain um because he's he's still not the main villain he's more like a secondary villain since sybil's is sybil is still the main villain um but um yeah i'm very curious to see um what's 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 gonna change because um it seems like because i don't think we saw jiang and gordon there with all the rest of the people from afterlife so i'm very curious to see if we're gonna see them again and I'm wondering if um, Daisy will meet up with them because that'll be very interesting. And um, it, the episode ended off with um, Yo Yo ripping out a part of the time drive, except it didn't work. So I guess we're going to um, see what's going to happen with that next episode. Um, but yeah, I really did like the stuff they did with uh, May and uh, Yo Yo, especially that fight scene, them going into their emotions and deep feelings, especially, like I said, the flashback scene, which really developed her character in this episode. And it kind of developed her powers, too, so she doesn't bounce back, um, which I guess kind of defeats the purpose of her codename Slingshot. Or I guess not, because Slingshot doesn't come back. Anyway, um, she doesn't need to bounce back like she used to, so I think that's uh, very cool, as it, she now doesn't really have a she doesn't really have a limit now with her speed i mean i think she still has a limit with her speed with her heartbeat but she doesn't need to bounce back which will, will technically be make her a little faster i guess or not faster but it's gonna be a lot more beneficial in combat so i'm very curious to see how that's gonna play out and yeah i'm very i'm hoping we we will see Chiang again and i'm very curious to see how the timeline is gonna affect uh, the stuff with the afterlife so like i said very curious to see how all that plays out um so yeah guys i'm gonna end it right here not nothing really much to discuss um like i said i'm planning to uh, eventually find the uh, replacement bolt for my lamp so the lighting is gonna be a lot better um uh, but yeah guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, this reaction like i said mondays and fridays i'll be doing some small reactions and um uh, let's see, uh, Sunday, well, I guess Monday is too, because, um, it takes me a, a while to edit Stargirl episodes, because for me, um, on DC Universe, it, it premieres on DC Universe at 9 p.m., um, and it, and it takes me a lot longer to edit those, uh, those, um, reactions than my other videos, because uh, I'm, I guess, uh, when I react to them, I'm a lot more invested in that show than I am with all the other shows, um, so yeah, Star Wars is on Mondays, even though I do record on Sundays, but Sunday nights, but you know, it takes me a while to edit it. So it's Sunday, uh, Mondays is Star Girl on Smallville. Wednesday, uh, Wednesday slash Thursdays, depending on it, how fast I edit the Agents of Shield uh, reactions. Um, Wednesday slash Thursdays is Agents of Shield, and Friday 
is um, Smallville, and I have decided to move officially move my uh, movie reactions to uh, Sundays. Uh, it's just a, a lot harder for me to find like movies I haven't seen uh, before to react to because I've seen a lot of movies. Um, I might do movie reactions to movies I have seen before, but not for a long time. For example, um, I haven't seen any of the X Men movies since I was a kid. And I only, I've only seen um, the first, the the original trilogy, and the Wolverine, the first Wolverine movie, and that's it. I have never seen any of the other X Men movies, so I could do that. I'm um, still debating on that. Like I said, if you guys have any movie reactions or TV show reactions or just reactions in general, post in the comments. Or if you're watching this on desktop, um, uh, post it in the in the discussion tab it would be really appreciated. And yeah, guys, like I said in my previous videos, if you want to discuss anything, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Star Girl, or anything, um, hit me up on Instagram. On the, my uh, Instagram will be in the description below. DM me, and I'll accept it, and then we can get the discussion going for you guys. I like to build up that community. And also, go in the comments, what did you thought about this episode? Or did, did you like it? Did you hate what your theories? All that good stuff. I like to get that discussion rolling. And yeah, guys, I'm going to be ending it right here. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. Like I said, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any future content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. And yeah, man, I would like to discuss with you guys in the comments on the discussion tab or on Instagram and all that good stuff. And yeah, let's build that community. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this, video. for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. See you guys later.